What's up, YouTube? I'm Josh, and this is Beard Meets Flavor. Today, we're going to have a little bit of a competition. We're going to pit Wiener Schnitzel against me. Uh, growing up, this was kind of a little guilty pleasure. Uh, you know, my whole family, my mom, myself, uh, used to love Wiener Schnitzel chili cheese dogs, just their basic chili cheese dogs. Uh, and as I've kind of grown up, and continue to eat these on occasion, uh, realize they're not that great. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can kind of recreate uh, these, but make them delicious. So let's kind of take a look and see what we're working against here. All right, so as you can see, you got this beautiful packaging. It says chili cheese, just so there's no confusion. And then you always get this nice, flop right um so what are we looking at um it's almost like a gravy with a little bit of meat it's more sauce than meat and it kind of has like a it's almost like dog foodish but i mean a good dog food if that I don't know. So let's uh, let's take a look. Let's see what we're working with here. Let's get a good cross section. All right. So we got some uh, got that wiener in there, mm -hmm. some cheese, and uh, the chili. So let's uh, let's see how we do. I mean. Still pretty damn good, but uh, let's we'll see if we can uh, bump it up to uh, bump it up a few notches. So we're gonna make our own chili. We're gonna cook up some Nathan's hot dogs, and uh, we're gonna turn the chili cheese dog game on its head. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our uh, dog chili. Uh, so we're starting with some 80, 90, no, 90, 10 ground beef. Um, typically with like hamburger, stuff like that, you're gonna use an 80, 20, because you want that extra fat, because a lot of it's gonna run out. Um, going with a little bit leaner meat, simply because I'm not gonna drain fat, I'm gonna use that to kind of add a little bit of extra flavor. Uh, obviously fat is flavor so this is going to be delicious um, and then we're going to uh, grate some onion in there just to add a little extra flavor i don't want the onion chunks i just want the flavor so we're going to grate the onion so it kind of just disappears in the uh, in the chili and then um, standard kind of chili stuff uh, chili powder cumin garlic uh, tomato sauce uh, tomato paste salt pepper and uh, a little bit of beef bone broth um, so we'll go ahead and start kind of getting everything together. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up this, uh, this onion. Um, and we don't need a ton. So I'm going to use probably about, I don't know, a quarter of an onion. We'll see what a quarter of an onion looks like. Get rid of this husk. All right, so, and like I said, we're going to grade this um, because I don't want, I want the onion, the uh, chili to be mostly just meat, right? So, good way to get that onion flavor without chunks of onion is uh, grate it. So, just using a standard cheese grater. Grade that. Fingers are going to smell amazing after this. All right, that's uh, just get it all over the table. Why not? Okay, I'm 
actually, that doesn't look like very much. So I'm gonna grate half an onion. Go ahead and get crazy. Okay, we're good. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll bring this over to the pot, start getting everything going, uh, cook off the onions, brown off the meat, start adding in the seasonings, and uh, we'll get you going. All right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of uh, olive oil. Uh, we just kinda wanna coat the bottom. I'm using the cast iron pan, and uh, it's already heated up, yep. All right, so I'm gonna add in the onions. It's gonna explode here. You can, you can hear. And then we're just going to kind of sweat these onions out a little bit. Let me turn the heat down. So these onions are going to kind of uh, almost disappear in the sauce, but they're going to add good flavor. I'm also going to put in about a tablespoon of this garlic puree. Okay. Same thing. Cook that off. Ooh. Potent. All right, so we're gonna move that around. We just kind of want it to get pretty well cooked, and as you can see, it's already translucent. It's good to go. So we're gonna add in a pound of uh, 90-10 uh, ground beef. And we're just gonna kind of chunk that up. And when you're cooking chili like this, uh, you want it to kind of be, you know, little pieces. You don't want big pieces of meat. You want that sauce to be um, pretty broken up. So you really want to kind of work that meat out and uh, get it nice small pieces. All right, so we're gonna let this brown off. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna start adding the rest of the sauces, the tomato sauce, seasonings, all that good stuff. All right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of tomato paste. Uh, it's gonna add good tomato flavor. It's also gonna kind of help thicken the sauce. Um, so I like to kind of create a little well, and then uh, we'll do about a tablespoon. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is I want the tomato paste to cook. Okay, so we're going to just stir it in real good. Kind of mix it in. And as you can see, the onion's pretty much gone. There's a couple of little chunks, but for the most part, the onion's gone. It just kind of melted in, so it's gonna add good onion flavor without chunks. Uh, we're gonna add in about half a can of uh, tomato sauce. Um, anytime you're using canned tomato, you wanna cook it pretty good, because um, it's gonna have a metallic taste to it. So you want to kind of cook that out. All right, so we got that in there. I'm gonna add a little ketchup. Ketchup's gonna bring a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar. Not a ton, probably about a quarter cup maybe. Same thing, we'll go ahead and mix that in. Now we're going to start adding in our seasonings. Um, so our old standbys, right? So we're going to use the uh, same thing about a teaspoon of chili powder. Okay. We use some ground cumin. Same thing about a teaspoon. Some chipotle because we like that smoke. 
And it's just that. It's a little packed in. I just bought these, so they're... Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to throw in some salt. Okay. Fresh ground pepper. And then we're going to come in with a little bit of uh, some beef bone broth. It's going to add, oh my God. It's going to add, oh Jesus. It's going to add a ton of flavor. We'll put this little pori lid back on. And about a half cup, cup. All right, same thing. I'm just going to stir this up. So you can kind of take a look at that now. And you can see it's just got good color, lots of meat. We're not talking about, you know, some gravy with a little bit of meat. Uh, we're talking about some good chili. This is going to be perfect for not only chili cheese dogs, but burgers, spaghetti. It's a, it's a standard um, kind of maybe Coney Island style chili. No beans, just basic meat. Uh, and and seasoning so we'll let this simmer a little bit and uh, we'll come back and uh, take them there all right so uh, with chili like everybody has their kind of own preference you know kind of like I was talking about in the last video um, cooking is all about what you want to do um, so if you like your chili a little bit thicker cook it down, uh, you know, let it reduce, it'll get thicker, it's going to have more flavor. If you like it a little bit um, thinner, then don't cook it as much or add a little bit more broth, whatever. So just kind of eyeball it, see how you like it. Um, uh, right now we're kind of getting pretty close to where I like it. I want it to be a little bit thicker, but that's pretty close. One thing I will say I forgot to mention last time, if you guys like the videos, do me a favor, like, subscribe, I guess there's a bell thing you can ring, do it all. Tell your friends, tell your family, um, you know, obviously that stuff really helps the channel. Um, it's a new channel, so as we're bit building and growing, um, you know, I'd like to be able to bring you guys some more stuff. So if you guys have stuff you want to see me cook, let me know, leave some comments down uh, in the below. Uh, and then if you guys, you know, make some of these things, let me know how it turned out. Let me know how your family liked it. Um, so anyways, we'll, uh, we'll let this finish off. We'll come back. We'll start cooking the dogs and, uh, we'll put these things together. All right. So we're using Nathan's cause they're the best. Um, so we're going to throw a few, I got a cast iron getting hot. We're going to throw a few of the dogs. I don't really need, um, Dogs are going to have plenty of fat in them, so I don't really need to add anything. It's a good seasoned cast iron pan. Uh, so we're going to throw uh, a few of these. If I can get them out of the package. These are some uh, elusive wieners. All right, here we go. And then basically you just want to cook the dogs, right? Uh, you're going to want to try and get every side. You don't want to burn them. You want to keep it even. Um, and just kind of roll your wieners around a little bit. Play with them, you know what I mean? Get your hands on those wieners. Uh, you know, use some utensils on the wieners. Whatever you want to do, but really uh, dive into the wieners. All right? All right, so we're going to bring this home. Um, I'm using some... Uh, potato rolls, they kind of have, I don't know, for me, I just like they seem to be a little bit softer, a little nice, you know. So I'm going to crack open these uh, bad boys. And in the tradition of competing with Der Wiener Schnitzel, um, I'm going to take just some quality, uh, and I say quality um, loosely because it's American cheese. How quality can it get? It's Spaceman cheese. But I'm just gonna kind of fold this bad boy in half and just kind of line the inside of these buns. 
Look at that, nice little schlappy. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Listen to that. Hear that? It's nice. All right, so we're gonna go like this. Break this guy. A little schmacky. Oh, actually, I broke it the wrong way, so fuck it. So here we go. We got pretty well covered uh, buns. We're going to throw a couple of uh, wieners in there. Some nice hot wiener. Okay, so that's going to kind of melt the cheese, and that's what you want. You want that nice, chewy, gooey. All right. And I know you guys have been wondering what the hell we're doing with Fritos, or maybe you already figured it out. I don't know. All right. There we go. Quality. Get some of that pre-shredded cheese, because, you know, we cheat in a little bit. All right. Buns out of here. Took off this lid. Look at that chili. That is absolutely beautiful. Piping hot. And again, smell vision. It's amazing. I think if you have any kind of cooking show uh, or you know whatever cooking thing. You have to talk about smell of vision or it doesn't count. So we're going to take some chili and we're going to just kind of load up the dog a little bit. A little too wild. Good. Kid's back there. He's excited. He can't even eat solid foods, but he knows what's going down. We're going to cover these uh, Fritos, right? Look at that. Perfect. Just slide this out of way. I'm, I'm busy, son. All right, so now we're just gonna, he's, he just he wants to be a part of everything, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna kind of put some onions on top because onions are, you know, it's, it's a must um, for the Frito pie. Take a little bit of the cheese, get it on the table a little bit. Not that funny, son. Get rid of some of this extra and give it to the dogs, but then they'd be, you know, shitting all over the place later. So, um, and then I like to kind of top mine with just a little bit of yellow mustard. Okay, that's it. This is the finished product. We're gonna try it. Um, but I'm gonna wait just a second because I'd have to be out of my mind to put that in my mouth. I wouldn't be able to taste anything for a week. So um, we'll come back, we'll try it, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so this is it. Fully built, tip of the cap to Wiener Schnitzel, homemade chili cheese dogs with homemade chili, and we got a little Frito pie for our uh, Texas friends. Um, I did cheat the cheese a little bit with a blowtorch because I want that shit melty, but uh, don't worry about it. All right, so let's, let's do a little side by side, right? Again, we got this bad boy, this bad boy. Let's see who wins the competition, right? So we're gonna open this guy up again. Oh, yeah, baby. So you got this versus this. I mean, aesthetically, it's a no-brainer, right? But, uh, you know, we did Uber Eats this, and it has been here while we've been cooking, so, you know, it's got a little extra sad on it. Uh, so we'll, you know, whatever, but... Nevertheless, even if we were at Der Wiener Schnitzel 
and uh, got this thing. There's no way in hell it's gonna look as good as this, right? So let's let's just do it. Let's taste it and let's see who won. All right, so we'll start with the, uh, the Derveen, right? Look at that bun. Look at it. It's, it's like, uh, it's like uh, if you had a chili cheese dog and you were like, how am I gonna carry this around? Ah, uh, I'll just put it in my fucking pocket, right? That's a pocket dog right there. Let's see. Mm. I mean, it's consistent. You, It's easily Dervain or Schnitzel. Now, it's time. It's time <clears throat> for the beard to meet the flavor. Here we go. Buddy, get out of town. All right, so first off, the chili. Super meaty, a lot of flavor, a little bit of spice, not too much. The uh, American cheese underneath, which Dervina Schnitzel does, uh, but they just kind of do one. We covered the whole dog. You want the same bite all the way throughout, and it's perfect. It's very reminiscent in that sense, that nice gooey cheese. Um, but the chili is next level. It's amazing. Uh, just perfect amount of spice, perfect amount of flavor, nice lots of meat instead of this gravy with a spackle of, of meat. Uh, this is the way to go. And as you guys saw, it probably took me, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes to do the whole thing start to finish. Um, so football season's coming up. These would be perfect. Put it on the list. And just to make sure we don't forget, our Texas friends. Look at these. It's like uh, hillbilly nachos, maybe. Uh, no offense. Chili, uh, Frito scoops, cheese. Huge fan. Man, I'm telling you. I know I'm biased because I made this, but there is no comparison. This, make this. For your next football game, do it. I promise you, you're going to like it. Just like you should like this video. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.